and she's sitting on me. Oh, Jen, oh, where are you going? Oh my god, oh, she's, oh god. All right, and now she's over there. <laughs> Lay down, Jenny. Lay down. I'm trying, I can't get comfy. <laughs> this is how pretty much every day goes. There we go. Good morning, friends. Um, I feel so much better than I did yesterday. Here's how I know that I'm feeling better. I'm starving. <laughs> yesterday, I wasn't hungry like at all. My aunt made me some soup. So I had some soup. And that's all I had yesterday. And I didn't have that till like 8.30 because I was too afraid to try anything. Because what if I couldn't keep it down? But I did. And now I'm starving. So I don't know what that was yesterday, but I'm glad it's over. I filmed a video. Can you guess what it was? <laughs> I haven't updated you on anything that's going on. So I filmed the video. Um, when will, does that go out? Next week? I filmed a video. Whatever. Filmed a video, and now I'm going to an interview. Um, I'm not going to tell you where it's at. Because I honestly don't have high hopes for it. Just talking to the lady on the phone. It just... It didn't seem... It didn't seem right. So I'm not going to tell you like what it's for or anything. But I'm just letting you know that I'm going to an interview. And I guess we'll see what happens. I have some time to waste before my interview though. So I'm going to Ulta. Well that was a complete fucking waste of time. I got to my interview. I said I was there for an interview. The manager said... Oh, we're really backed up right now. So you can just walk around the store, and I'll find you when they're ready. Okay. Um, so I waited, and I waited, and I waited. I waited for 25 minutes, and I was done waiting, so I left. It all just seemed very unprofessional, even from just the first time that the manager had called me um, to interview with me just from then it was all it was everything was just very unprofessional so yeah there's that um, I'm not gonna name the company or anything because I don't want to give them a bad rip because I'm sure not all of their stores are like this but it was unprofessional is the only word I can think of it's completely unprofessional um, and then on my way home I almost got hit by a lady who wasn't fucking paying attention. Um, so there was that also. So the only upside to this is that I got the Lorac Pro 3. That's the only upside. Dun dun. Dun dun da da. In all its glory, this is the shade I'm most excited for. Amethyst? Yep. Look at that. Look at it. So yeah, this is the only thing that's keeping me from not completely throwing a temper tantrum is the Lorac Pro 3. I don't know if you guys remember Kitty Kitty. He was another orange cat that we had. He was very old. Um, he passed away a year ago already. Hi! Um, what are you doing? Um, but this cat came into our neighborhood and we've been taking care of him and we've named him Kennedy because he responds to Kitty Kitty but we couldn't call him Kitty Kitty because we already had a Kitty Kitty. So now we have Kitty Kennedy. Hi, baby. What are you doing? He doesn't quite understand that I can't pet him through the fence. Like, I can get my hand through there, but it's harder to recoil if he try. He hasn't tried to scratch me or anything. He has bit me before, but it's been like a love bite. Hi, baby. What are you doing? Um, he's very friendly, and can you see his tail? He's got like, there we go, he see? He's got sad tail or something. We think some kids tied a rubber band or something around his tail. And just out of sheer survival, that whole part, see, just the whole end of his tail just died off basically. So he seems to be fine. He hasn't, I mean, he obviously hasn't gone into shock. He's been eating and he likes to be pet. Oh buddy, you're shedding all over the place. Um, so he seems really healthy, so I was worried that he might get a bone infection, but he seems fine. So we're not sure what happened exactly, but one day when he came around, he just looked like he had something s tied around his tail, so we're thinking that some kids in the neighborhood did that to him, but 
that's the newest addition to our family. And he's walking away because I'm not paying attention to him. So, okay, well, here's the thing. I got to the store at 3.45. My interview was at 4. I left at 4.10. Um, I got a call at 4.53, almost 5 o'clock, to apologize and to reschedule my interview. It took them almost an hour to call me, to call me back. Oh my god, so I'm not going to call them back. I don't want to reschedule, again, like I said earlier, completely unprofessional. So what I'm doing instead is I'm watching Undercover Boss, and I'm editing some videos. That's what I'm doing. That's how I'm going to spend my time. I look really shiny. It's also a bad angle on, like, all of the chins. So that's that. I'm just... I'm just laughing at how like ridiculous it is. So I'm just gonna go back to editing. Finished editing a video and my aunt's bringing home McDonald's. I love McDonald's. That was weird phases that I just did. So yeah, I fin I've been productive. I edited a video. That's done. And now I'm gonna eat some McDonald's. Well, she's gotta come home first. She's, she's getting McDonald's now. I'm gonna eat some McDonald's. And that's it. That's all I've got so far.